Mayor McCarthy and the school committee have come back to the Stigma Team property as their preferred location for a new Waltham High School. At a special meeting Thursday morning, the school committee voted to ask the city council to acquire at least 25 acres of the Stigma Team land for a school. The city council had previously rejected requests to take the property by eminent domain. Since that time, the focus has been on building the high school at the former Fernal property. But with a myriad of problems with that land, McCarthy now says Fernald is not a viable option. So when I look at all of the warts of the Fernald site, I can't recommend it. And although I could say to you right here, nope, let's keep doing it, doing it, I can't. It's not the right site. It's not situated, even if I did all of that, cleaned up everything, made sure it was safe for the kids, that means I have to clean up 190 acres before we can do the high school. The delay to the high school program, that's not fair to the kids or the school committee or the citizens of Walton. McCarthy maintained that Stigma Teens is the best option for a new high school. She said her earlier negotiations to buy the property were undermined by church employees and other elected city officials. She acknowledged that bringing Stigma Teens back to the council now will not go over well. They can say, we'll find some other replication. We're not going back to stigmatines. No, but you should because of the location of that property in relationship to all of the students in the city of Waltham. And I'm going to get my head whacked. I don't care. I don't care. I'm well, a I big think, girl. I think the school committee also voted to continue to explore veterans' fields on Winter Street, as several city councilors have suggested. For the Waltham News Watch, I'm Bill Heatley.